ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் குட் ஈவினிங் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் முகாம்பிகா நர்சிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் மைக்ரோ பயாலஜி எகைன் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வி கேன் கண்டினியூ மைக்ரோ பயாலஜி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வி கேன் சி டுடேஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இன் தி ஃபாலோயிங் விச் இஸ் தி மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் ப்ராசஸ் options option a assessment of the problem or needs of the patient option b planning and determining the goal option c nursing intervention option d evaluation and our question is which is the most important part of nursing process nursing process consists of assessment that is subjective and objective data we are assessing or collecting the data from the patient on the basis we are formulating the nursing diagnosis and setting the goal after that we are planning the care and final step is the evaluation okay here our question is most important part of nursing process it is assessment assessment of the problem or needs of the patient is the most important part of nursing process so correct answer is option a and the next question is which of the following position should be provided to the patient during sigmoidoscopy options option a lithotomy option b knee chest option c trendenburg option d supen position sigmoidoscopy is a diagnostic procedure which is the test is used to visualize the colon and rectum and the position used for this sigmoidoscopy is knee chest position option b is the correct answer this knee chest position or genu pectoral position is used for examination of vagina and an exercise for postpartum patient and the next question in the following which bone is generally preferred for bone marrow aspiration options option a iliac crest option b femur option c humerus option d tibia fibula the bone which is preferred for bone marrow aspiration is iliac crest option a is the correct answer and the next question is which of the following drug is the choice of treatment in drug induced anaphylactic shock options option a dopamine option b digoxin option c adrenaline option d protamine sulfate the drug which is used for anaphylactic shock or anaphylactic reaction is adrenaline option c is the correct answer And the next question which of the following drug increases the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding options option a aspirin option b tranexamic acid option c acetaminophen option d dextran question the drug which causes gi bleeding is aspirin aspirin is an example of nsaids it is non steroidal anti inflammatory drug here the correct answer is option a And the next question is a drug that relieves flatulence is known as options option A carminatives option B antacids option C purgatives option D stignans here the question is drug that relieves flatulence flatulence or gaseous distension is by carminatives option A is the correct answer the last option option D astringents these are the drugs that cause the contraction of the tissue and arrest discharges okay and the purgatives which is used for intestinal evacuation carminatives are the drugs that release flatulence or gaseous distension then option b antacid these are the drugs which react with hydrochloric acid to decrease the activity of gastric secretions okay so the here the correct answer is option a and the next question is drugs used to cause intestinal evacuation is options option a cathartics option b astringents option c carminative option d antidotes the drugs used for intestinal evacuation is cathartics option a is the correct answer in the previous question purgatives are there in the option option c that is also drug which is used for intestinal evacuation this purgatives is coming under this cathartics okay And the next question a nurse should inform a nursing assistant to avoid taking a rectal temperature for which client options option a the adult client who underwent ileostomy surgery cause of a perforated bowel option b the adult client who has a frequent 
protective cuff and is receiving oxygen by nasal cannula. Option C, the adult client who developed thrombocytopenia after receiving chemotherapy. And option D, the adult client with hypothermia. Here the question is, a nurse given instruction to the nursing assistant that to avoid taking rectal temperature for one patient. Which disease condition we should not take rectal temperature? And the correct answer is it is option C. The adult client who developed thrombocytopenia after receiving chemotherapy. Thrombocytopenia means decreased platelet count. So this is the risk for bleeding. Suppose if you are taking temperature by rectally there is a chance of bleeding. So we should not take rectal temperature in case of thrombocytopenia. So here the correct answer is option C. And the next question. When using a hypothermia blanket for a febrile client which finding should lead the nurse to suspect hypothermia options option a increase urine output option b decrease heart rate option c increase bp option d increase heart rate so the question is while using hypothermic blanket for fever patient which finding does the nurse suspect there may be hypothermia for the patient hypothermia means decreased temperature here we can see when using a hypothermia blanket to reduce temperature, a nurse should monitor the client for signs of hypothermia which include decreased heart rate, decreased blood pressure and drowsiness. Why drowsiness? Due to decreased heart rate and decreased blood pressure, patient may feel drowsy because of reduced cardiac output. Okay. So, here the correct answer is option B, decrease heart rate. So, while using hypothermic blanket, the nurse should monitor hypothermia for the patient. Okay, here the correct answer is option B. And the next question is, which sign should indicate a nurse that a client is experiencing a surgical site infection? Options. Option A. Temperature of 100.4 degree Fahrenheit. Option B. Localized pain and tenderness. Option C. Redness or warmth at the affected site. And option D. All of this. If the client is experiencing surgical site infection means the temperature will be high. Localized pain and tenderness at the in surgical area or the wound area. And the redness or warmth at the affected site will be there. So here all of this is the correct answer. Option D. And the next question is, most reliable method of measuring body temperature is options. Option A, oral. Option B, rectal. Option C, axillary. Option D, elbow. Which is the most reliable method of taking temperature. Here we can see most reliable method by taking body temperature is rectal method. And most convenient method of taking temperature is axillary method. Least reliable method of taking temperature is by axillary method and most commonly used method is oral okay so here our question is most reliable method is rectal option b is the correct answer and the next question is rectal tube should not be kept in place for not more than options option a 5 minute option b 30 second option c 10 minutes option d 20 minutes the rectal tube should not be kept in rectal area for more than 20 minutes. Option D is the correct answer. And the next question is, which among the following sized IV cannula has the largest diameter? Options, option A, 16 gauge, option B, 20 gauge, option C, 18 gauge, option D, 22 gauge. Which, which IV sized, which size IV cannula has largest diameter? Here we can see the color of IV cannula, yellow is 24 gauge, blue is 22 gauge, pink is 20 gauge, green is 18 gauge, gray is 16 gauge and orange is 14 gauge. And we can see the other size purple or violet color is 26 gauge. So the greatest diameter is 16 gauge. So correct answer will come gray color 16 gauge option A. 16 gauge is the correct answer. And the next question is, while changing the dressing, the nurse inspect that wound area become red and redness, swelling, induration and purulent discharge. What is possible complication? Options. Option A. Evisceration. Option B. Inflammation. Option C. Dehiscence. Option D. Infection. 
this is one of the previous year question this type of question we already discussed if the wound area have swelling induration discharge redness means it is due to infection option d is the correct answer and the next question after receiving the blood in ward from refrigerator the blood should be given to the patient within options option a 30 minutes option b 60 minute option c 4 hour option d 90 minutes according to who guideline the different blood component and its transfusion time we can see rbcs or packed rbcs should be transfused within 30 minutes that is red cell component should be transfused within 30 minutes after taking from a refrigerator and plasma component should be transfused within 30 minutes and platelet should be transfused immediately okay rbc 30 minutes plasma component 30 minutes and platelet immediately so here our correct answer is option a 30 minutes and the next question is massaging medication over the skin is options option a inaction option b installation option c inhalation option d irrigation medications or ointment like we are applying over the skin like massaging is known as inaction option a is the correct answer and the next question is taking medication directly into the respiratory tract is termed as options option a inaction option b installation option c inhalation option d irrigation that is medications are taking directly into the respiratory tract that is inhaling option c is the correct answer inhalation and the next question is administration of medication directly into the eyes is known as options option a inaction option b installation option c irrigation option d inhalation applying medications into the eyes is known as installation okay eye drops are instilling okay option b is the correct answer and the next question is intradermal injection is giving at an angle of options option a 15 degree option b 45 degree option c 30 degree option d 90 degree intradermal injection test dose injections we are giving intradermally then bcg we are giving intradermally intradermal injections we are giving at 15 degree angle option a is the, the correct answer and the next question is subcutaneous injections is given at an angle of options option a 15 degree option b 45 degree option c 30 degree option d 90 degree yeah, the question subcutaneous injection it is also known as hypodermic injection for example insulin injection we are giving at 45 degree angle so the correct answer is option b intradermal injections are giving 15 degree or 10 to 15 degree and intramuscular injections are giving at 90 degree angle okay so intradermal 10 to 15 subcutaneous 45 and intramuscular is 90 degree angle today we discuss previous year questions from fundamentals of nursing surely these questions will helpful for your exam preparation if it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle and support me